everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we're going to make an extra, extra, extra small pet sweater. You can use it for a tiny teacup dog or even a very little kitten. It fits up to about two pounds. And we're going to start that in just a moment. everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we're going to be making an extra, extra, extra small cat sweater, dog sweater. Um, it's going to fit up to a two pound pet. You're going to need a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook, pair of scissors, darning needle, and you're going to need baby yarn or sock yarn. Um, this is a two ply yarn. <clears throat> Actually, this is a very beautiful yarn. I got it at a market and it's hand spun it's just beautiful very very nice okay so <clears throat> we are making a hoodie just in case you didn't know and we're starting from the bottom up so we're going to start by crossing our yarn a lot of people do slip knots i don't do slip knots i just cross my yarn if you want to do a slip knot you go right ahead so we're going to start by chaining nine so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You're going to go into that second chain from the hook, and we're going to do a single crochet. So you go into that stitch, pull through, yarn over, go through two loops. That's a single crochet. We're going to do that all the way to the end. <clears throat> Two, so you're going to end up with eight stitches. Three, four, five, six. seven and eight okay now we're gonna chain up one we're gonna turn our work okay and now <clears throat> so normally when you would go to do your stitch you would go through like this correct but I want you to not drop your loop <laughs> I want you to only go into the back part of this stitch. So we're still doing single crochet, but we're only going into the back part. And we're going to do that all the way across, just the back part of your stitch. Single crochet. Okay. And again, you should end up with eight stitches. We do not count that chain one as, as a stitch. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a frog in my throat. So we're going to the end of this row. You should have eight stitches. And you know what? I've been crocheting for a lot of years and I still count my stitches. There's nothing wrong with counting your stitches. So I've got two, four, six, eight stitches, not counting that chain one. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, and again, back loops only. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you fly so low here. You're going to do this for a total of 40 rows, four zero, 40 rows. <clears throat> and what we're doing is we're making our ribbing. Let me just finish this row and I'll show you what I mean. It's uh, like you would have on a people's sweater where, well, it's called a ribbing. I don't know how else to explain it. So there's my last stitch. <coughs> Pardon me. So you see how you're getting a bit of a ribbed look? 
There you go. See? So 40 rows. Do that. Meet me back. Okay, so I've done my 40 rows. So now what I'm going to do is, without twisting this, I'm going to fold it over. And I'm going to go into that very first row, okay, at the top. I'm going to take my contrasting yarn. <laughs> and look for the end of it. Okay. So I'm going to take my contrasting yarn. And I'm going to pull it through as the slip stitch and then I'm going to chain up two. One, two. So I'm going to tighten the, the blue yarn and I'm going to give the blue yarn a cut. Okay. So now at this point, if you want to, you can tie the two ends. And then I kind of tuck them down the center so they stay out of my way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up 40 stitches. And the chain 2 does not count as a stitch. 40 half double crochets around. So to do a half double crochet, you go yarn over into the row. Pull through, yarn over, and go through all three loops. So let's keep doing that. We're going to do that all the way around to have 40 stitches. So we're at two, <clears throat> three, four, and make sure this is not twisting, right, guys? Five. Seven, eight, and just keep going until you have 40, then meet me back. So I've got 40 stitches. Now, normally we would do a slip stitch into the row, but we're going to do this sweater a bit differently. We're going to do the, the bottom part, so the tummy part, in spirals. So... We're going to skip the chain two and we're just going to do another du half double crochet in that very first stitch. And we're just going to spiral now until we have 10 rows on either side of our crochet hook. So <clears throat> if you look right now, see on this side I have two rows, but on this side I only have one. So we want 10 rows of the gray only. <coughs> Pardon. <coughs> Pardon me. 10 rows of the gray only. And we're just going to keep spiraling around. Okay. So keep working in a spiral for 10 rows and meet me back. Okay, so I've got 10 rows on either side of my crochet hook. So 1, 2, 3, 4... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now what I want you to do is slip stitch into that next stitch. Okay? Then you're going to chain up two. And we're going to start the back of this hoodie. So yarn over into the stitch. And we're going to do half double crochets. We're going to pick up. 20 half double crochets. This chain two does not count as a stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, so we're going to chain up two. We're going to turn our work and we're going to work back and forth on these 20 stitches <coughs> for a total of six rows. So that's one row. We want a total of six rows back and forth on these 20 stitches. Do that. Meet me back. Okay, so I'm back and I've done my six rows. So what I want you to do is I want you to leave a bit of a tail and very gently put that tail through the loop because we're going to pick it out later, okay? Now going back to this side, you see where this stitch is coming out here? I want you to put your crochet hook there. <coughs> and we are going to take our yarn we're going to feed it through there. I just hold my yarn at the back. And we're going to chain two. One, two. And we're going to pick up 20 half double crochets along this these unworked stitches. So, one. And now we're working the chest. Two. Three, four, all in half double crochets. Five. And if you haven't had a chance yet, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Um, hit the little bell so you get notifications when I do new videos. It doesn't always work. I try and do new videos every Thursday, so check back on Thursdays if you want to see if there's something new. Um, and make sure you check out the description. I always put all kinds of goodies in my descriptions, links to my Facebook crafting group and links to, um, different tutorials in this size. Uh, yeah, links to different, um, crochet accessories that I have in my Etsy stores. I have three Etsy stores. I'll put links for all of them, but... Some of them may not have anything to do with what you do. I have an Etsy store for <clears throat> crochet and knit items, including patterns. And I have an uh, Etsy store for journaling, scrapbooking, that kind of thing. And I have an Etsy store for jewelry. So, yeah, all kinds. So this should be 20 stitches. But I'm just going to count to be sure. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And we don't count that chain 2, okay? So perfect. So now what we're going to do is for the chest, we don't want it really bulky in between their legs because then they'll walk funny. So we're just going to start tapering this on each side. So the way we do that is we chain up 2 turn our work we're going to turn two stitches into one so we're going to decrease each side of the row <clears throat> so yarn over into the stitch pull through yarn over into the next stitch pull through you've got five loops one two three four five loops yarn over go through all five loops that turn two stitches into one so this row is going to have 18 stitches when we're done so that counted as one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, <clears throat> 12, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now I said we were going to have 18 stitches, right? So we have two stitches left and that makes sense because we're turning these two into one. So yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over into the next stitch, pull through, yarn over, go through all five loops, chain up two, turn your work, you're going right into another decrease. So I'll show you that one. <coughs> Pardon me. So this row is going to have 16 stitches. So yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over into the next stitch, pull through, yarn over, go through all five loops, and that turned two stitches into one. So keep decreasing each side until you're down to 10 stitches, then meet me back. Okay, so I'm down to 10 stitches. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my loop and I'm going to slip stitch into that back panel into the chain, the top of the chain two. Okay, so I'm going to slip stitch, chain up two, one, two, make your loop big. Now, you know where I told you not to pull tight? We're going to go back there. And we're going to pull out that. Then we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two of the chest from the back here, using the tail as our working yarn. So do your slip stitch. Now pull your tail through your loop, pull tight this time, and you can tuck that down the center. We'll deal with that later. <coughs> Now what you have is your loop. We're gonna go back here and we're gonna do the neck. So we're doing half double crochets and we're gonna go around and have 30. So we'll have 10 from the front, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So that was 10 from the chest. <coughs> Ten from the chest and you want 20 from the back to give you 30. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, <coughs> pardon me, sorry, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, <clears throat> 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Now we're going to work in spiral again. <clears throat> so 
instead of going into the chain three, we're going into that first stitch. So we're just doing a half double crochet into that first stitch. And we're going to spiral for three rows. So the way I tell is that's one, this will be two. Well, we just finished one, is what I'm saying. And I'm starting on spiral two. So you want three rows either side of your crochet hook and then meet me back. So I'm done my three rows. So see, I go up from, from my arm opening and I go one, two, three, and then one, two, three. See? One, two, three, one, two, three. I'm going to cut my yarn, leaving a bit of a tail. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Okay. Pull your tail through, tuck it down into the middle. So now what we're doing is we're going from our armholes up. One, two, three, four, five. So up. One, two, three, four, five. So right here. Did you see how I got that? Okay, so I went up from the armhole. And I counted where I did my slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five. And I went on this one and I went one, two, three, four, five. So, because we had 10 stitches from the chest, okay? <coughs> so what we're going to do now is we're counting in five from each end. Now on the left side where you counted in five, we're going to attach our yarn. Again, it's the same main color. We're going to chain two. And in that same stitch, we're going to do it a half double crochet. And now we're just going to do half double crochets to the other side. But we're not slip stitching or spiraling. We're just going to here and then meet me back. So I've done my 30. And so here's what we're, we've got. Okay. So we've got the center. This is the opening for our hood. So we're going to chain up two, turn our work, and just like we did with the chest, we're going to decrease at each end. So this row will end up having 28 stitches. So yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over into the next stitch, pull through, five loops, one, two, three, four, five loops. Go through all five loops. That turns two stitches into one. This will have 28 stitches. You'll decrease. And you're going to do another decrease row <clears throat> after this. So both ends of this row to give you 28. Both ends of the next row to give you 26. And then you're just going to work back and forth on the 26 stitches until you have a total including your decrease rows of 12 rows. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So you did your 30, you did your 28, you're going to do 26, and then you're just going to keep going until you have a total of 12 rows, including the decrease rows. Okay, do that. Meet me back. I've done my 12 rows for the hood. So now what you want to do is you want to leave a long tail because you're going to use this for sewing. So you have a long tail, put the tail through your loop, and pull tight. Now we're going to turn this inside out. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go sew up our ribbing. Okay, where is that from? That is from... So, take your tail left over from the start of the ribbing, okay, we're going to put it in our needle, okay, and now we're just going to put these two together, and we're going to do what's called a whip stitch. So, you go into one side, 
And I always do a couple extra at the beginning because that's where you'll have the most stress, right? There we go. And now you're just going to seam this up till you get to these. Okay. So, and just with the whip stitch. You want to make sure you're getting both sides too. Okie dokie. <coughs> Sorry. So we're up by the others. I'm just going to give this a little tie. And then we're going to go to the long tail we left. <coughs> and we're going to Thread our needle again. Okay, once again, we are going to do the whip stitch. I always put a couple of extra at the beginning, just because that's where the most stress will be. Try not to poke yourself in the finger like I just did. Of me okay so now i'm just going through the the loops here from our stitches i'm just grabbing one side of each one and i'm just going to do that all the way down And we're not going to cut this yarn because we're going to use this to attach our pom-pom. So we won't cut it until after we're done our pom-pom. <coughs> so we're going to do this all the way along. Oops, don't do that. There we go. Right to the very end. Okay, and then once you're at the end, we're going to put another loop. Now, <coughs> we're going to make a loop here. Okay, and then we're going to go through the loop once. And we're going to go through the loop twice and then we're going to pull that tight and you see how I kind of held it here that's so we didn't pull this all wonky now we're not going to cut this thread because we're also going to use this thread to put on our, pon our ponytail no <laughs> our pom-pom but in the meantime you can go hide all the other threads now so do that and meet me back Okay, so as you can see, all except this really long one at the top, I've hidden all the threads. So I'm going to turn it inside in again. <coughs> okay. And now we're going to just put our trim on our hood. So taking your contrasting color, we're going to go right here. And we're going to take... Our contrasting color okay so I'm gonna kind of hold this back here take it and we're gonna pull through here we're gonna chain up two okay now we're gonna single or sorry half double crochet around the hood and I just I just go. I don't count. I just do the best I can and kind of make them look even. So see how there's kind of rows here? You can put a couple in each row or do two in one row and 
See, that went in the same spot, so I don't really want that there. I'd rather put it like up here. But it's just to outline the hood. You can also do the same around the leg holes. And we're just going to go all the way around doing these half double crochets. So do this all the way around till you get to the other side, then meet me back. So I've gone all the way around. Now we're just going to slip. Oh, I got blurry. We're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two. Make your loop big. Cut your yarn. Now we're going to have two. I'm going to just tie these together and then I'm going to hide my threads. You're probably wondering why I tie a knot and hide my threads. Well, by hiding my threads, it'll pop that knot into the stitching so it won't rub against your little puppy or kitty or whatever. And uh, <coughs> I just feel it's more secure. So hide those threads, meet me back, and we'll make our pom-pom. Okay, guys, pom-pom time. So for a pom-pom, you're going to need a fork. You're going to need some basic glue. And I'm using a paintbrush because my glue spout doesn't work anymore. So, okay. Take your two colors together. <coughs> Um, actually, nope. First, you're going to take a length of yarn. Uh, we'll say four inches. You're going to put it through the middle space. Okay, then you're just going to hold it out of the way. Okay. Now, you're taking your two yarns together. So we're holding that out of the way. <clears throat> You're taking your two yarns and we're going to start wrapping them around the fork. Okay. Then, oh, don't let go of this. You almost need like seven hands to do all this. Okay. Then, holding that and kind of holding it at the back with my finger. You're gonna take your glue and you're just gonna go along the middle. Ooh, that's too much. And then you're gonna do the same on the back. Okay. And then you're gonna start wrapping again to cover the glue that you just put on. Okay. And then, why waste glue, right? <laughs> and then a little bit on the back too. And then <clears throat> some more wraps. That's probably plenty. Cover all that glue. Okay, so now what you're going to do <coughs> is you're going to take that piece of yarn that I got you to place before. We're going to tie it <coughs> around that middle that we've been putting glue on. Okay, really tight. Not so tight that you break your yarn but tight. <coughs> We're going to cut this and we're keeping those tails because we need them to put attach our... We're going to pop that off the fork and now you see these loops? Come on now. We're just going to cut those loops.
Okay. And it's tough because you did a lot of wraps. Well, I did a lot of wraps. We're just going to cut those loops. Okay, and then you want to check and see if you missed any. See, I missed some in there. Oh, missed some right there. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to do this side. Okay, look and see if you missed any. See, I missed quite a few. Okay. So there we go. Now, we're just going to... Keeping these tails handy, because that's going to tie on to... We want to just kind of roll it so that it's... We don't want to see where we tied, right? <coughs> and now what you're going to do is you're just going to touch up your pom-pom. So you want it kind of all the same length, right? So you see there I've got quite a... I'm just going to trim them all. And this is where, like for me, I just keep <laughs> trimming and trimming and shaping and poofing. And by putting that glue there in the center, you just make your pom-pom that much more sturdy. <clears throat> And then poof it some more. And now, because it's a homemade pom pom, it's not going to be perfect. <clears throat> so, I'm just going to give it some more trims. Okay. Anyway, be as picky as you want. And uh, then give it a few minutes to just completely dry and then meet me back. So once you've got your pom-pom done, we want to attach it to the back of our hoodie. So we have two little ties, so we need to find two spots on the back that we can pull through to underneath. So I'm going to go there, and I'm going to go here. Okay, now let's just pull that tight. Is that a good placement? That looks like a good placement to me. So now I'm going to go to our long, long, long one that we left. We're going to start tying knots. So. We'll take one of the short ones and tie it to the long one. <clears throat> and then we'll take the other short one and tie it to the long one. And then we'll tie the two short ones together. And then <clears throat> we will give this A little trim. There we go, guys. We are done. We have completed, whoops. We have completed our teacup size dog hoodie. Isn't it adorable? I just love it. Okay, so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And uh, 
leave me a message. Let me know where you're watching from and let me know if you have a micro dog or a mini dog and how much that dog weighs. I'm really interested. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check that description for all kinds of goodies. Talk to you later. Bye now.